When Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed and consecrated it and all its furnishings. He also anointed and consecrated the altar and all its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of the families who were the tribal leaders in charge of those who were counted, made offerings. They brought as their gifts before the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen, an ox from each leader and a cart from every two. These they presented before the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these from them, that they may be used in the work at the tent of meeting. Give them to the Levites as each man's work requires. So Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites as their work required, and he gave four carts and eight oxen to the Mirarites as their work required. They were all under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. But Moses did not give any to the Kohathites, because they were to carry on their shoulders the holy things for which they were responsible. When the altar was anointed, the leaders brought their offerings for its dedication and presented them before the altar. For the Lord had said to Moses, Each day, one leader is to bring his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who brought his offering on the first day was Nation, son of Amminadab of the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold dish weighing ten shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nation, son of Amminadab. On the second day, Nethanel, son of Zuar, the leader of Issachar, brought his offering. The offering he brought was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nethanel, son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helan, the leader of the people of Zebulun, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliab, son of Helan. On the fourth day, Eliza, son of Shedior, the leader of the people of Reuben, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams,
five male goats and five male lambs, a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliza, son of Shedeur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, son of Zerishaddai, the leader of the people of Simeon, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Shalumiel, son of Zerishaddai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Dul, the leader of the people of Gad, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishema, son of Amiah, the leader of the people of Ephraim, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Elishema, son of Amahid. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedazer, the leader of the people of Manasseh, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate, weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pedazer. On the ninth day, Abidon, son of Gideonai, the leader of the people of Benjamin, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Abidon, son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, son of Amishadai, the leader of the people of Dan, 
brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahaisa, son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Hagiel, son of Akron, the leader of the people of Asher, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Pagiel, son of Akron. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enan, the leader of the people of Naphtali, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Enan. These were the offerings of the Israelite leaders for the dedication of the altar when it was anointed. Twelve silver plates, twelve silver sprinkling bowls, and twelve gold dishes. Each silver plate weighed 130 shekels, and each sprinkling bowl 70 shekels. Altogether, the silver dishes weighed 2,400 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. The twelve gold dishes filled with incense weighed 10 shekels each, according to the sanctuary shekel. Altogether, the gold dishes weighed 120 shekels. The total number of animals for the burnt offering came to 12 young bulls, 12 rams, and 12 male lambs a year old, together with their grain offering. 12 male goats were used for the sin offering. The total number of animals for the sacrifice of the fellowship offering came to 24 oxen, 60 rams, 60 male goats, and 60 male lambs a year old. These were the offerings for the dedication of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant Law. In this way, the Lord spoke to him.